I'm Councillor Dick Madden, the Cabinet Member for Adults and Children of Essex County Council and also the local City Councillor for this area of Old Moulton. How do you think that the City Council sure. can help this project? Well obviously it's a unique building because it was obviously uh, used by Marconi and obviously there's a history in the building and it's uh, very important that uh, because of its uniqueness I support the campaign to actually develop part of the building to be some sort of um, recognition about Marconi and his life and the, the life in our city uh, which is important and it's an opportunity that we shouldn't miss. Have you been doing anything behind the scenes to promote this with your fellow councillors? Well we've had uh, myself and another councillor, Councillor Gulliver, have met the team that are actually uh, putting this project together and been developing it and we're very happy to continue with those meetings and we in turn, uh, Councillor Gulliver and myself, are engaging with the senior uh, cabinet of the council to actually engage with them and say about this again is about your city and it's about the uniqueness of this building and it's an opportunity to show Marconi and its scientific hub um, from the point of view of the uh, what has been happening in our city. There are some people who would say well we already have a museum, yes we do have a museum on this area called Oakland's uh, Museum which is really good uh, but again this is about an opportunity to in the real building where Marconi started we can use the opportunity and certainly through the uh, owners of this property who really are supporting what's been trying to be achieved uh, we can use that opportunity in the building where Marconi and all his team were to actually display wares about the history of, of, of this science which is important to our city. We have a statue of Marconi in uh, um, uh, 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 Chelmsford itself that's on display in an area where I often wonder if the public see it. Um, so from that point of view, here's an opportunity within our community, we can actually look at, look at the life of Marconi, the impact it's had, not only in Chelmsford, but we've got to look at far afield from obviously around the whole world that obviously Marconi Radio is actually developed. And we mustn't forget, we must not forget the history of the Titanic and the impact that certainly Marconi's radio had on on that ill-fated journey and again from the point of view of education for our children it's important we don't lose this history and then obviously such a facility as that we can have school children here in education physics and I really uh, embrace that and I think it's a really good step forward. You can tell by my passion I do fully support this uh, and publicly acknowledge uh, what's trying to be achieved here. We have to look at obviously austerity times uh, that, uh, that without drawing into politics, mm -hmm. but it's about the funding. And I appeal that as many people as possible that we can actually look at uh, organisations, individuals, from the point of view of raising the funds to actually achieve this. And I, I will continue to lobby the City Council to assist in that as well. Do you think it's going to take a miracle to save this building for Marconi? Uh, I always believe in a higher power. I'm a Christian, so let's keep praying as well. Thanks, brother. <laughs> God bless.